Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, today I'm going to teach you how to draw Queen Anna from Disney's Frozen 2. If you haven't seen it already, I did do a tutorial on how to draw Elsa as the fifth spirit. So if you want to go draw that after you draw Anna as the Queen of Arendelle, then you can go and check that out. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lay out all of our images that we need to fill in for Queen Anna. So what we're going to do, we start with making the shape of the head. So I'm just going to kind of make an oval and her head's a little bit off to the side. So I'm going to bring this over just a little. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put on those eye guidelines so I can just have those for later. And then I'm gonna go underneath and give her her neck. And this side's gonna go down. And then this side's gonna go down. And off to the side right here. We're gonna bring down this arm. And I'm just going to go back up and circle up just to kind of categorize. This is her upper arm. This is going to be her upper arm also. Go up into here. We're going to have her standing looking all regal with her hands crossed in front of her. So we're going to bring off this, the upper arm off to the side right here. Bring it to here and then this arm right here where that elbow is. Bring this down, connect here. So this hand is going to be holding this arm. So I'm just gonna square off that hand. And this hand will be just kind of like hanging out down here. And we get a chance to draw on this engagement ring. Spoiler alert. And go back in. We probably won't draw her whole dress. We'll just draw to like about here. We're actually going to go in just a little bit here, and it's going to go out this way. So we'll shape this up just a little bit more, but it kind of gives us a good place to start. So let's go ahead and start here. All right, starting from her face, what we're going to do is let's go ahead and lay out the face first, and then we'll make our way into her hair. And then her crown is probably the most complex thing out of this entire outfit. So I'm going to bring down her eye line just a little bit more so she's kind of looking off to the side and her head's a little bit like tilted down here to the right. So I'm going to go up over here and I'm just going to map out one eye on this eye guide line. She's going to bring that over just a little bit. And the thing with the, uh, her eyes is they're almost, they're very almond shaped but they also have a weird looking like point to them in the corners. So they almost look like round teardrop almond shapes, but they kind of look like seeds. So let's start with just making these seeds and then we'll define them a little bit more in the corners. Okay, so let's go ahead and just map off where everything else is gonna go. Her nose is gonna go right about here and then we're just gonna make like a little bit of a smile off to the side for right now. So starting from right here, this eye, we're gonna go ahead and draw her pupil iris area. She's gonna be looking off to the side. Same for over here, got it all the way down to here. Now let's kind of shape this up. So from the top of this eye, we're gonna make a nice thick line and kind of bring this down. And we're gonna do that weird, well, it goes up and then goes into a corner almost. So it's got a weird point there. And the same for over here. If I start with this corner over here, round this up. We're gonna bring this down, bring this a little bit more off to the side right there. The same for here, let's keep that direction of those eyes. So this one's gonna get a little bit thicker. Bring this one over. Actually, I'm going to change this pupil a little bit. It looks a little weird for me. I'm just going to kind of bring this over off to here. And then bring this one down over here, and this one down over here. I'm going to 
bring out this one and go up. Very interesting complex eyes, but they have distinct corner. Now the thing about Anna, she has really thick eyelashes like Elsa. So I'm going to go up to the top and I'm just going to bunch them all up here. But they're more brown than black. Elsa's is very black. Anna's is actually really natural looking and brown. So just kind of gather those up over there. And then I'm going to make a pupil here. And go off to the side and make a pupil here. And make a little shine and a shine in the pupils. Next, her nose is really simple. So it just comes to a point where we made that little circle. And you're gonna make one little nostril here and then one nostril here. Bring up this side and you can bring up this side. And I'm gonna lightly color that in right there. <coughs> and the thing about, she's got some smile lines underneath. So underneath her eyes, you're just gonna make a little bit of a line here, and then a line here. A little bit of an eye line, eyeshadow line here, and then a little shadow there. Get this nice and rounded up top. Lightly shaded. She's got really aqua-like eyes, and they're super dark at the bottom and top. All right, then underneath her nose, let's start with making her lips. So her upper lip, she doesn't really have a really big like dip in that, that upper lip where those two little spots where it goes up. She doesn't really have that. So we're just gonna almost make one continuous line. Go on top of that, that original smile line we made. We have one dimple here and one dimple here. We're gonna go underneath and make another lip. So start from each corner here and here. It's not too thick. Little bottom lip. Almost the exact same width as the upper one. I'm just gonna shade in the top lip. Then for her eyebrows, I'm just gonna go right above where that corner is, draw one eyebrow here, and she's got really thick eyebrows. So I'm gonna make this nice and thick here. Then bring this down over here. Back over here, corner, go up with that corner. Round this out, bring this down. I want to give that eyebrow too much attitude. Just that, bring it up. There we go. Then I would like to go ahead and shape up her face just a little bit more. So we're gonna bring out this side of her face and give her a little bit more cheeks and bring out this side just a little bit more. So you see how I brought that out and I'm making it more of a definite line. Round out that chin. Then bring up here side go up and stop and we need to leave a lot of like forehead room because we need room for her bangs so let's start with her hair it's gonna be a little bit crazy but first on this let's go ahead and just map off where her ear is gonna go so I'm just gonna place her ear here and same thing on that eye line just gonna go ahead and place another ear over here even though we really can't see it because it's almost like a three-quarter turn. Now let's get to the tough part, her hair. The easiest way I've come to find to make the hair is to start from this side right here, go up, and you're almost gonna make like a roll. <laughs> it just kinda goes around, you're gonna come off to the side, go past this section here, past her ear, and you're gonna go right back in. So we have this whole section. 
and then you're going to have another section from this bottom part of her ear and you're going to go down there bring it down from like where her earlobe is and then bring it down all right so this part is her big braid and then on top of the braid we have the crown so i'm just going to make like a little bridge up on top just one little bridge. Now, let's start from this side of her braid above her ear. You make one little section off to the side, another little section here. Now from here, you're gonna go out and in, up on top here, go out, in, go back up and in, out, and then back in, this is where it starts to get a little bit more shape, so I'm gonna make it more of a braid shape. So you see if I go under, see how I like fold it out and in, out, back in. Like it doesn't have much shape on the sides here. Then from the roll we made, her bangs are going to go down. And they're gonna go out and a little bit above her eyebrows. And then we have one section of bangs that's like disconnecting from this overall lump of bangs. Now let's shape up this hair to look a little bit more like actual hair. Now for these pieces of her braid, we're just gonna kind of shape it up so it doesn't look more like cinnamon rolls. So I'm going to go in and you can go ahead and overlap that hair, but you wanna keep the sections of the hair, like the lumps. So I'm just going in, I'm just kind of giving it more of a feel of actual strandy hair. those parts a little bit darker. And then for the bun, you're just gonna go underneath here. We got this little section of hair here. And then you're gonna go in and bring this in. And then another section is in. The crown is gonna actually, I'm gonna bring this off over here off to the side and be a little bit skinnier. So you still have this bridge, but you're gonna start up here. And you're gonna bring down, go up, then up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and then up and down. This is not as simple as Elsa's crown. So I'm gonna make this one just a little bit taller. All right, so in between these little spokes are these little, like, I don't know, they look like seaweed. <laughs> so I'm gonna go up and then up. Up, 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 and up, up. Kinda looks like little hearts. To make this simple in every single one of these, we're just, it's a really complex crown. And in the middle of each one is the sign for Arendelle. So you're gonna go up, 
make a diamond and then you're going to bring out the leaf on the side and the leaf on the side. And it's like it's got gold up on the points and in each one of these little things you're gonna add the sign of Arendelle but to make it a little bit more easier maybe you could just go down and just make it black and then it's gold on top gold on top unless you want to go in and fill each one in with the Arendelle sign so the Arendelle sign you go up, make a diamond first, it's the easiest way. Bring this down, make like a leaf going up, it should like fold in to here. Go down, bring this up, bring this one down and go in. So it looks very plant-like almost, and it should just kind of flow in. So it goes out like this, down, and then you go in, make that golden part in the middle, and a golden part here, and a golden part here. Go in. So that's the Arendelle sign and she gets one here, 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 and here, and here, and here, like all throughout her crown. And then on the side she gets these little things, they kind of look like little leaf birds almost. They meet in the middle. And go all along her band of her crown. So as you can see, I kind of went ahead and I, I, I actually erased a lot of the lines and I thought that maybe at the end we could do a little bit better with defining her face with shading instead. Circle earrings in her ears. I'm gonna round off this side of her face. Now, for let's start to do her dress. You're gonna start from her neck, bring down the shoulder here. So she's got one shoulder here. You're gonna go straight across, and you're gonna bring up this shoulder right here. Then you bring this down. Now, from here, you're gonna bring out her chest, and you're gonna go back into her arm. We can't really see this one over here, but right there. She has a little bit of that attachment where her cape is. So I'm just gonna make like a little attachment for her cape. And it just kind of goes off to the side of her arm. And we'll go down and it will make her cape. Now from her chest right here, you're gonna go out from the corner. So from this shoulder and this corner, you're gonna go out a little bit. And you're gonna go really close to the edge round this down and back into her arm then from this part right here you've got the other part of like it looks almost like a vest it goes out and then down and this is actually like a jade not a jade just like an emerald green lining and the same for up here she has a lining up at the top and it goes off into her shoulder. So it's a lining here and then a lining here. So from her chest, bring this down. And it goes in. And from her arm, we can kind of see that it just kind of brings, brings it out just a little bit. And I'm gonna bring this part down this part down of her arm bring in her arm here and then go up 
And then from right here, from where her little bit of her bodice is, I'm actually gonna bring this in just a little bit here. There we go. Then from her bodice right there, we're gonna draw her belt. And then on her belt, we're gonna make a hexagon. And there's the Arendelle emblem once again, the little logo that we she has all over her crown. It'll go right in the middle of that little hexagon. And then her arm is gonna go down. I'm gonna see how I define this just a little bit. And then bring down this side. Bring to a corner for her elbow. And go down. So this arm, see, her chest should be like going out. And we should see like another emerald piece here. And then up here at the top, we have another little bit of a hexagon. And then we've got those leaves going down the side. Three sets, and they should be following alongside this part. And then a diamond. And then it's just like little studs all the way down. And I'm actually gonna bring down her belt just a little bit more. We're gonna go right about here. We're gonna kind of round it up just so we can see more of her green dress. So I'm gonna bring down this belt. And it's gonna be that hexagon. Now from this arm right here, you're gonna kind of shape up her bottom of her dress just a little bit more so this part goes out. And then this part will go down more this way. So for her hands, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. You're gonna close off this sleeve, and then one hand is kind of resting on the other, just a very queenly pose. So you're gonna go out, round this down, back in, and this one's gonna go out to the side, and this one's gonna go down. So it's her pinky that goes out just a little. Ring finger here finger here and this one's just kind of like folded in so they should just kind of be folded in over her arm and then this one is more rested so this one you're gonna draw her thumb first bring out her thumb go in bring out her thumb bring down this side of her hand you got her pointer finger here Go out and then in. Middle finger kind of resting to the side, going out towards her pointer finger. And then we see her ring finger going in. And that's all we see of this hand. And then we see a little bit of her ring on her ring finger. She has designs going down her arms, very similar to what is on her bodice. So the designs that we have over here are also down her arms and they look like little leaves. So they look like this. another little Arendelle sign. And then underneath her sleeve, she has another lining. 
same for here we don't really see all the leaves we just kind of see them off to the side here because we're seeing less of this part of her arm but we see the studs going across her arm and all the way down into her wrist now for her cape starting from up here you're gonna bring this down and it's gonna go out and that's my dog making noise in the background and then you're gonna go out from here and bring down the other side of her cape then she has a pleat in her dress so from this hexagon you're gonna go I'm just gonna lightly draw through her hands and bring out this side of the pleat and then, then this one underneath is just gonna go straight down from so back up to her cape up here you're gonna bring down this side of her cape and then it's gonna go in and then back out and the same from over here on this side it's going right it's making that rounded corner and then back out and then in the middle you've got several other pleats so I've got this one here this one and it's just going straight down because that's a whole other skirt underneath this top of her dress so and then this one's lined and then this one is lined as well and then her cape is also lined in gold. So with her actual cape, you can kind of, you. this is where we get to see the purple in the background of her cape. You probably have noticed that I erased all the lines on her face. I'd like to go ahead and shade instead of actually drawing those lines. So she has like, they're not bags, they're smile lines. And underneath, eye, underneath each eye, she just has a little bit of shade here. And most importantly, we're gonna give her a little bit of blush. I'm just gonna use my finger to blend that out. And very, very important, Anna has a ton of freckles. So you just go around and give her a lot of freckles. And I'm actually, instead of using those lines, I'm gonna shade underneath her eyebrow. And I'm also gonna shade right into her eyelash to give that, eyela that eyelid line and easy then underneath right here I'm gonna shade underneath her head onto her neck I'm actually gonna shade all the way back here onto her shoulder then I'm gonna actually define just her bangs just a little bit more and I'm gonna get rid of this line in the middle
There you guys go. There's how to draw Anna from Disney's Frozen 2. Uh, I guess I had to turn my light on because I lost daylight, but it doesn't really change anything. But I hope this was easy and that it was simple for you guys to go ahead and draw Queen Anna. And I hope you all will go and see Disney Frozen 2. It's a really cute movie, and if you haven't already, go and check out how to draw Elsa as the fifth spirit. I hope you guys have a most wonderful day, and I will see you all later. Bye!